Frontier's Rune. This is it. We're inside. But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Up there. Tyr used the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Udenon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant. Whatever it's here did for them must have been big. Whoa, who are they? Boy. This is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look! We're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. What's moving? Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All Do right. what now? After the last, nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach them, whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to Jotunheim. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. Again with the death traps. I'd have thought, brother, why don't you let the lad carry me for a while? And let you miss this. No. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Hmm. Ah, it's the other kind. Variety is so important.
I truly do hate this part. I know. Time to do what you do, brother. Leave them in peace. Obviously not referring to us. chain waits. A 
an army of statues. I don't think they're the kind that come to life, if that's what you're worried about. Tyr often said that in the world of PC envisioned, the only soldiers he'd need would be statues. Bless his heart, but the bugger did take himself rather seriously, didn't he? Here, boy. Another one. It says his name is Bergomir. I think Mother said he was the king of the giants. Aye, that he was. And quite a bit more. Looks like he had a lot of kids. That, little brother, is what we call an understatement. He's dead, but nobody killed him. Do giants die from old age? They may, though it's rare among the legends. For one, never doubted. Right. Until gods grow good. Could be quite a wait. No. They're just waiting for us.
flip the temple. Yes, sir. Let's just agree to stop saying flip the temple. It's starting to sound non I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Lift with your legs, brother. You know. Just trying to be helpful. Sir, I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. There, on the left. I think we can climb back up to the realm travel room from there. not right. Oh, it's the Nine Realm. Always about unity with Tyr.
Hmm. A climb, you say? Aye, by the statues. Atreus, follow him. See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Yodin. Do you hear that, brother? Lads found his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. Ha! Huh. I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. Well, what have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great our dumbless others. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this. In the panel at Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how he must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. So you're saying Tyr's shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world tree. And you're thinking, to reach the secret path to Yodanon, that's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? Good. I am more than okay with not throwing ourselves over the edge of the little tree just yet. In due time, boy. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith, Head. Incredible! Oh, 
How can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on. That was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. <laughs> this is considerably worse. <laughs> Oh dear, here they come. Focus up, boy.
Surely that's enough of that. Where are we? Look! We're back in Midgard! There's the bridge! We did it! The tower's back where it belongs! Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms were made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. And look! Now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. Alright, last one. Ruined! <laughs> I we could have used that when we fought the Valkyrie Queen. Okay, what's good?
Well, what else were we talking about? I did him justice. You take care now. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. A minute. This isn't going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Kier must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! Odin fucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. Any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot. For years, I had seen Sindri, sometimes brought, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. 
But... Huh? I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... Huh? He wanted me to build a... Huh? He showed it to me, you see, and I... Huh? The coin? Sorry, will you... Excuse me? Who? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know he got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! We'd better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. But now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the worst. Anything you need to do? What's more to the horn? open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. So, are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss this. Atreus, follow me. idea? No. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in the giant's belly either. How about you, Father? Never one who's not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point.
used to dream about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. But like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is water, isn't it? Hi. Let's go in. Can we dock on this beach? Not like I can still see through it. You should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone.
How's it feel, Mimir? Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting fate? Fate is another lie told, told by, by the, the gods. gods. Yes, of course. You really are your father's son, you know. So how do we get back out? We signal. Hold on! What's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to you? Nothing good! Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. Serpent, what's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago, before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you... How, how I feel? How I feel? <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize 
I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. Oh, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But the family first. This again? Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! no. Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh. No! <laughs> He's vulnerable now. He means to kill you! You can't stop me! No one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me! I will protect him! I will not let him die! I'm such a... This will all be over soon! There! Oh, 
Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Ironic, <laughs> isn't it? What? No. What?
Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness, we can build something new. <sighs> Paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop you. I know. every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell that is my promise he saved your life he robbed me of everything <laughs> everything <laughs> you were just an animal Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change! And you do not know me? I know enough. Does he? Boy! Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. 
I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill- She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say the cost? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. And such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. So Odin gouged out his own eye. Because of mushrooms you gave him? Aye. Can't say for sure what he saw that led him to try gouging out his own eyes, but I managed to restrain him before he finished the job. Then I persuaded him it has been his sacrifice made for an even higher form of sight to be bestowed. Blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. I used to think he never caught on. But the day he took my eye, I realized he had never been fooled. He knew I'd outwitted him called the lesson wisdom and hired me to make sure from then on I was on his side. And for a long, long time I truly was. Doesn't mean he didn't hold a grudge.
So what'd you find out there? Move it on, then. <clears throat> Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. 
Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Who's the guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. of giants. She knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. I didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't 
didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? 
A question for another day. Let us go home. sense now. Why she want to end up here? You with your kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep the secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? A name can't be for a god. <laughs> No. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope. That though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. Oh, you missed it! I understand if you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for Dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Turn to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you likely realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Balder has become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens for the coming of winter. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you.
I'm telling you, it's Fimble Winter. I can feel it in my scrot. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me fool? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble Winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah, we... we heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Brothers, there's another thing I must let you know from the time you were away in Jotunheim. Well, tell us then. It concerns Freya. She paid me a visit. What did you tell her? What little I know about where Odin may have kept her Valkyrie wings. Seems she's rather bent on reclaiming her warrior spirit. I'm afraid the cycle of vengeance may not be so easily broken. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimba winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. <laughs> 